I really can't believe more people are not seeing this. Look at this. There is a moon that's not even a planet, that's actually just a moon to the planet called A2. Um, I won't have to point it out, but I will. There's a round object in the sky. Um, it's very close. It's actually just outside Earth's atmosphere. And technically, these are the clouds from the atmosphere of that planetary object. Those are not clouds from Earth. Earth does not have clouds that look like that. And clouds do not make round shapes and dark shadows. Just saying. Everybody always says, that's impossible. There's just no way there could be another solar system passing so close to Earth. And I'm like, look at this. Um, here is another planet. This is a planet right there is another perfect curve. And you got the dark blue here for the shadow of the planet. And you have our sky, which is an obvious different color, different everything. And you're like, okay, well maybe once in a while there could be a perfect curve in the sky, but that wouldn't happen again and again. But, oh, well just wait, here we go. See, here it is again. It's very same location, another perfect curve, another shadow in the sky. Here we go again, here's another one. Um, it's, it's literally undeniable what we're seeing here, but yes, here is shadow of a planet. This is actually two planets. We have Isatom in front of Nibiru and our sky here. You guys, it's here. Our binary twin solar system is here. And you're like, okay, I'm sure it doesn't happen any more than that, right? Well, actually it happens daily and worldwide. These planets from the twin solar system are visible worldwide. Here's another example here. You can obviously see there is a object there um, it is a planet and these planets they're big they fill the whole sky you do not need a telescope you do not need a telescope the entire blue area is planet our sky is this sliver right down here so I think you're getting the point here that we have this other solar system that is passing between Earth and our sun. And what we see are their dark sides, we see their shadows, we see their clouds, and their atmospheres. And that's just it. Most of the clouds we see every single day are actually clouds from the atmospheres of these other planets. Here's another example. We have the curve here. We can tell it's there, but this time it's wrapped in its own clouds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These are clouds from this other planet. It's incredible. It's really easy to see them once you understand what to look for. They honestly reveal themselves quite easily. And we know clouds cannot do this. Literally a perfect curve, literally a perfect shadow. Yep, as suspected, we have a planet here, and then the blue area here, that is another planet. Our sky, remember, is the pale blue area. I'm not kidding. There is literally nobody else talking about this, about how we have sky-filling planets in every direction we look. It is time the world knows what's going on. And yes, this is the real reason for all the new cloud names as well as your favorite sky conspiracies. Uh, they have to hide this somehow or another. Just saying. You ready to see another planet? So technically, this is a moon in front of a planet. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that. This is from our good friend Tara in Texas from about a month or so ago. And this very obvious, obvious curve, that is the moon of the planet Isatom. Okay, and Isatom is actually just behind and you can actually see it quite well. If you look closely, you can see the edge. This is the edge of Isatom. And you can tell right here how there is a darker blue color behind. That darker blue shadow is the planet Isatom. So currently, 
Isatum is always located just to the right of our sun. Isatum is one of the eight planets in our binary twin solar system. And yes, we really do have a binary solar system that we are just not being told about. And it is actually much closer than most people have any idea. When I talk about these planets being close, I'm talking about them passing just outside Earth's atmosphere every single day. And I know I say this often, but yes, most clouds are actually clouds from the atmospheres of other planets. It's just that simple. Okay, here's another example. This is our sky right here. That is planet. That's not our sky. You know that's not our sky. Nope. How can they not tell us? It's, it's literally obvious now that you understand. This, that is a planet, and back behind it is another planet. This pale blue area, that is our sky.